All right, welcome back everyone. It is the hot afternoon time and I'm about to plant up some onions and I already did a cantaloupe right there and then I did a cucumber on this side of the trellis but on the opposite so diagonal so cucumber and then cantaloupe and that way they can grow up but they may not mesh together um, hopefully by the time the season's over that way we don't get any cucumber and melon beetles um, commingling anyway so um, I'm gonna start planting up some and hopefully I'll get a lot of this done I did plant some in each of these raised beds and this is what I'm going to do with the onions too because they're mostly for deterring pest or anyway so I'm going to put one in all the beds so the onion there will be one onion and these are yellow sweet onions so they're yellow sweet Spanish and of course full sun because vegetables like full sun they mature though in a in about 115 days and, and that's really all that they're, that they're mild tasting we use um, yellow sweet yellow onions all the time so we actually cook with these more often than any other onion I am kind of expecting uh, I should have planted that over here I don't know what I was thinking um, I'm kind of expecting not to have to use a shovel to dig because this soil is not compacted. All right, so it looks like, I mean, I think these are three different, probably should pull them apart. That's what I'm thinking. How much spacing? three and a half inches is what they grow to be so let's see if I can pry these gently apart well, these are all individual onions okay all right let's see how easily they can come apart Ugh, these might not These roots are pretty intertwined. They were only a dollar though, so. A dollar for a, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for eight of them. Okay, I've got them separated, and I don't know that the first batch that I planted, if the audio caught it or not, because my microphone was off. I took a phone call, and I keep forgetting. Take a phone call, you need to redo it. So, anyway, I've got 10, actually 11. So I have 10. So 10 of these, and 10 went in the other bed. And I'm spacing them three and a half inches apart because they grow about three to three and a half inches. I already put the food in here. And again, it's going on the north side of the bed. I'm measuring using my fingers. That's three, three, three and a half inches. And I'm keeping the bulb above the soil line. Just doing the roots. I 
Again, we eat these more than um, more than any other onions. We cook with these the most, these sweet yellow onions. Hmm, this one hasn't formed a bulb yet. It's got a big old root system for not having a bulb. Oh well, I'm going to assume that's where the bulb is going to be. Okay, I'm back everyone. All right, let's go over this again because I obviously had a mic on that was having technical difficulties. <clears throat> technical difficulties, not technical <laughs> difficulties. Um, all right, not sure where it got cut off and so I'm just gonna go through it all over again. These are sweet yellow onions, something that we cook with all the time. And I'm spreading them between my flower beds for some of the pest deterrent issues. Just give something stinky and smelly that some things do not care for. But we eat them, so we love them, and I love the smell. So I'm putting them three and a half inches finger measurement uh, apart because they grow to be about three and a half, three, three and a half inches wide. And I put some plant food in here, vegetable plant food, and that's because onions are heavy feeders and they need the extra nutrients and um, I'll feed them regularly but I think that the fertilizer that's in the soil um, that comes in the soil is only like 0 0.05 point it's not much so I don't think that that'll be good enough for them not for onions one two three four five six and I can do another seven got these for a dollar at the hardware store that I went to to get the cattle panel they are a hardware slash garden center I mean they don't have a huge garden center all those roots and I'm just carefully teasing them apart I might put this clip where my Mike is definitely still on and working, so I'll probably put this clip in first. That way you know what I'm doing, and that way I can fast forward all the other stuff. Because you don't want to see me do this for 30 minutes, and I'm a slow poke, y'all. Slow poke, right here, right here, slow poke. It never fails. I hear sirens all the time where I live. We're not by a hospital, but it seems like we don't live very far from an area that might have a lot of emergencies, it seems. Now this onion, this onion looks different. Let me show you. Do you see the difference? Difference in the color. Wonder if this is a red onion. Well, that'll be a nice little bonus, won't it? Because I like red onions too in my salads. Just very little though, because I don't like smelling like an onion after I eat a salad. We have a restaurant in town that when people eat there, they come out of there smelling like onion. It's kind of disgusting to me, but the food is super good. And so, I mean, what are you going to do? They have really good food, but I make it a rule. You can go there at night, but not at lunchtime because you go there at lunchtime, ooh, you go back to the office, all your co-workers are like looking at you like did you shower they don't know you went there to eat lunch you know i keep throwing that out on the ground and stay in the bed compost okay so one onion that might not be a yellow sweet onion off to the next bed okay so when they planted the seeds of course they put them in little you know five seeds here five seeds here and they all sprouted so i'm just ever so gently well, first, the greens need to be separated. Pulling them apart. And I'm not pulling either. They're kind of falling apart. But these are a little tougher. You kind of have to just shake them a little bit gently. Gently. <clears throat> but that's all I'm doing. Oh, look, that one pulled right out. Sometimes their roots are cooperating, and other times. They are just so in there, so tight and tangled. Ooh, I might get lucky with this one. Oh, I heard one. I heard a snap of some roots. And I wasn't meaning to do that. All right, we're watering them in. And I'm using rainwater from last night's rain. All right, I'm back in the vegetable garden. Got onions planted, and now I'm going to plant my sweet bell peppers. I have three red sweet bell peppers. I have a jumbo Bertha green bell pepper, 
and then I have a it can't see it sitting on the shelf of the bed I have an indeterminate tomato I think it's early bird or early boy I'll go over there and read the tag I've actually never grown a full-size tomato I've always done cherry tomatoes little snackable sizes so this is going to be my first ever full-size slicing tomato I think that's what that is oh I have grown Roma tomatoes before in fact I have one over there and we do we we use uh, Roma tomatoes for slicing tomatoes it doesn't matter to us that it's a paste uh, better for paste making but anyway we're still new at using our own vegetables um, and then I have uh, I think that's my rue that's an herb no that's another little tiny potato tomato that's an, an orange snack ball I'll go over there and read that then I have some rosemary but it's not going in this bed it's going in my herb bed over here and I'll show you that in a second okay so let me get some food spread out no that is my rue herb the other tomatoes over here That's where the indeterminate tomato is going to go. And then this is my vegetable. It's going to go into the, I mean, herb. And it's going in the herb bed. All right. I have biotone. I have worm castings. And I have slow release fertilizer. In addition to the fat, I, this is not slow release. This is, this is plant food. It's like immediate. So. That's a pretty little plant. That eggplant sure is pretty. I have weeds in my yard that always, they look like uh, bell pepper seedlings, but they're not. Okie dokie. So, actually, I'm going to put this over here. So this is a sun sugar yellow cherry tomato and it is needs to be 36 inches apart and it matures in looks like hold on can't really use your gloves when they're dirty to wipe things off and it matures in 75 days So that's where it's going to go. It doesn't say how tall it gets. Isn't that weird that they don't? Why don't they tell you how big these get? Oh well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll get the same size as many things. I'm going to put it on this side though, since uh, it is going to be probably a shorter plant. So I will put it on this side. Time to water everything in. And if it doesn't do well here, if the soil is too moist, I don't think it will be. But if it doesn't do well here, then I'll put it in its own container. Because that's the thing about rosemary. It's like a shrub. But since south is that way, I want all the taller things to be at the back except for the trellis stuff there's no way i can avoid, i can't you know there's nothing i can do about that okay i don't want to plant it that low either I might come back and add pebbles right here. I don't know. I haven't decided. Gotten some rainwater. Now I'm going to water in this rosemary. All right. 
right, so, sorry for walking in front. This is the Autumn Sage Red Salvia Gray Guy, and it gets 36 inches high by 36 inches wide. So that's my cucumber. Um, I don't think this will be blocked by the sun. It will get that part of the sun, but straight afternoon, morning, straight afternoon, it'll get enough sun, I believe. If it doesn't, I'll move it. It may have to go closer to the middle of the bed. Yeah, it's, well, I want the full, full, I mean, I want everything that gets the most sun to be the vegetables. And this pretty, I think maybe I'll just put it in this corner and it should, should be fine. All right, let's go look on my plant stand that I have because I was thinking, you know, I think I still have squash and zucchini left over. Oh, look, Scott mowed the yard today. Looks so much better. I got some larkspur planted and some salvia planted in another video. I have an old video of when I put this uh, walkway in. I could probably upload that. Yes, looky here. I've got some salvia little starters, but I have, oh, cucumber. Okay, don't really need a cucumber. It's looking kind of sketchy. Okay, here we go. What are these? That's indigo. Mosquito go away. Zucchini. Okay. We'll take that out with us. Put it right here for a second. Hello, Blushing Bride Hydrangea. Oh, I could put that curry plant in there for decoration as well. Something is shriveling up underneath there. Don't look. Don't look. All right. Then this is squash. So, oh. Look at how pretty. I might put that out there too. We'll see. Mm hmm. Yep, those died. Hmm. What else is up there that I can put out there? I don't think there's any vegetables up there. I think the only thing I had left was. Yeah, the only thing I had left was squash and zucchini and the cucumber. Uh, cucumber, hold off. I have two of you out there already. And I'm going to take this and we are going to go plant these. I love productive days and I'm feeling very productive today. Oh, Y'all, I hope soon people start leaving comments of suggestions on what I can do better, you know, and tell me like what I'm doing wrong so that I can correct it. Look at those parrot lilies.
Yep, they love life. But look, they're growing into the areas I don't want them to grow in. I'm going to have to yank them out soon. Well, that is like full sun. Like glare. Okay, so these need to go over here in this bed. And that kale is moving, of course. I can only probably fit two in there. Maybe more. Maybe I can get... Let's see. I'll put two squash. No. A squash, a zucchini. And maybe... Maybe squash, zucchini. And that onion is right there. I'd have to move that onion. Yes, I will do that because I want at least three in here. And then I can do another one over here that doesn't trail up anything and I'll just let it spill over. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And then um, I'll probably plant a couple more in here because I think the more I have, the better. I also could plant one here because I have plenty of space and I don't need all that space. I've got a cucumber here. I'm going to put another cantaloupe there because I think I have another cantaloupe back there. I could put squat one here too. I could do that. I don't know. That cucumber might get too tall, too big. So I might put one there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. All right, I've got my second cantaloupe. And it's going to go here. I got some more biotone because I'm at, I was out. Found some tomatoes. And I don't see the tag, but I'm pretty sure looking at the little tomato, it's a Roma. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over in that bed just because they're already all over there anyway. I really don't want a little monoculture of vegetables because if I do get one of those worms that like to eat everything... That whole area could be decimated. So I kind of didn't want to do that. That's why somewhere over here. But um, I do have beans that I want to plant to go up a trellis. So I want to leave that empty. And I, I'll, well, no, because I'm going to do my squash there. Well, I guess what I could do, I do have another trellis I could put up. But I want these little boxes to be like for herbs and stuff. Okay, let me think this through. Well, that's it for today, y'all. Thank you for joining me today as I worked in my vegetable garden. Uh, I got a lot done today. I'm thrilled to finally get some plants in the boxes and get them planted and I can't wait to see how everything starts growing, but let me show you what I've done and just do a little recap real quick. All right, quick tour. Got the yellow sweet onions planted. Got a little yellow cherry tomato. Put in some sweet alyssum in the corner of every bed. Planted some salvia gray guy, some rosemary, a rue, more onions and more of that sweet alyssum more onions here. Oops, I forgot to plant that cantaloupe. I'll be doing that, but you won't see it. I planted a cucumber there, another salvia gray guy there, a cantaloupe there, and did I put the variety? Is there a tag in there? Oh, that is an heirloom Hale's beef, no, Hale's best jumbo. Halo? Hale's best jumbo. So got a cantaloupe there. My reading skills aren't very good, I guess. Got my sweet red bell peppers, an eggplant, 
a big girl slicing tomato, a cucumber. I still have to do the squash, but that's going to wait for later. This I already had done. This is from my old little garden, which when you're seeing this video, it probably played at the beginning because I wanted to show you my little space that I had. I will be pulling up some of these echinacea and putting them intermittently around the garden in the ground just to help to you know make it pretty and then I've got these tomatoes that I already had planted they were also in the garden already and that's why they already have their fruiting and have flowers and I'm training them onto the trellis and so anyway that's what we've done today oh and I I did plant that rosemary so that's what we've done it's looking good I'm excited and those little birds right there they live in that shrub right in front of us yeah they come out and they sing and anytime I'm working in the garden too they come like if I walk away they come back and they look to see like what did she do did she get any worms or bugs to come up to the surface so they always go scouting for food wherever I've been working. I've noticed that. They like watch me. But they're, they're good birds. I like them. As long as they leave my blueberries and strawberries alone. No, I'm kidding. They can have some. Where did his friend go? Anyway, that's for it, y'all. See you in the next one. Bye. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, have a good day.